Mm, this is off le chain. Off le chain, okay? Have y'all ever seen vegan cheese melt like that? Come on now. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shakayla. I create and share delicious plant-based recipes and inspiration. If you're returning, thank you. Thank y'all so, so much. I really do appreciate all the love and support. If you have not already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so that you are made aware every time I post a new video, which should be every Sunday. Sometimes I do take a little break, but it's been feeling good to kind of just like take a break, um, to just like decompress a little bit, get life together, kind of get reorganized, re-energized for the new year. And then soon I will be posting two videos a week, which I'm very, very excited about. The first video will be more about like food and meal prep, what I eat in a week, what I eat in a day. And then the second video is going to be just like a little bit more personal. We'll be showcasing that Shakayla is more than just food. So I'm excited for that and I hope y'all are as well. I am here for a meal prep video. Whenever I meal prep, I am not one to meal prep the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for five days out the week. Can't do it. It's just not in me. I get bored. I need variety. I need change. So I meal prep for like three days. For the last two days maybe of the week, I would just do like kind of freestyle, like whatever I have in the fridge. That's all I have to give. So this week, I really want to try to make shakshuka. Whenever I am cooking a recipe that is not, that I'm not used to, or um, you know, it's part of a culture, I always try to make sure if I'm pulling inspiration from different recipes. I try to find traditional recipes, meaning recipes from people who grew up eating this, who knows what they're talking about. I don't want to water down recipe for inspiration. So I try to make sure that I'm pulling inspiration from people who they eat this, they grew up eating this, they are the experts, all the good stuff. So, so for lunch and dinner this week, we're going to have tomato soup with, I want to make like grilled cheese croutons. So it's, I mean, I just make like a grilled cheese and I just cut it into like small pieces, kind of like crouton. So that's gonna be really exciting. I'm also gonna do a veggie sandwich. So I have to do the veggie sandwich for a campaign, but I was like, okay, well, might as well just have a good workout. I might as well just create or have veggie sandwiches for the week. So we're gonna do that, which will more than likely be for lunch, not dinner. And then I also want to do a curry over rice. But, so this is gonna take my chickpea curry, which is, Chef's Kiss is gonna take my chickpea curry, but I'm going to just fill it with other vegetables. So, yes, we're about to get started. And by the way, so I think I have almost enough scraps for my vegetable broth, which I'm really excited about. So let's cut these vegetables up, make the vegetable broth, give it 30 minutes or so, and then start cooking. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. See, it already has a really good color, which I'm excited about. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to cover it with the lid and then we're going to just let it simmer for 30 minutes.
our vegetable broth. Our onions, I'm gonna add all of those, and then I'm gonna add in the garlic. Taking a quick snack break. Y'all, this popcorn is so good. It is delicious. It's been several hours of cooking. Your girl is tired, drinking water. Two things that I didn't make tonight were the veggie sandwich, which I'm gonna have for lunch one day this week, and then um, the grilled cheese for the tomato soup. So, yeah, so I'm about to just clean up the kitchen. I'm going to put the food in containers. And then I will see y'all tomorrow once we actually enjoy everything. Good morning, beautiful people. So it is time to finally enjoy the food that we ate. Um, had a great morning, just like getting my morning routine down pat, which I'm very excited about. I think that it has been pivotal in like, like I actually seen like a shift in my mood, my mind, and how I respond to things. Um, just by one, taking it slow in the morning, I've been praying a lot more, which has been great. Also taking my ashwagandha in the morning, so that's been really helping me just have, you know, just like the best days that I possibly can. Um, as of what I've seen so far. I mean, because I'm sure it can always get better, okay? So we are about to eat breakfast. Y'all, I didn't want to mess up my shakshuka <laughs> last night, so I just put it in the pie in the fridge. So we're about to heat it back up um, on the stove. I'm just gonna use the stove, and then I'm gonna toast some bread. I wish I had nine. Um, but let's see. 
Mm. That's really delicious. I'm so excited because it tastes like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll link the recipe that I use for inspiration in the description box. Yeah, this is delicious. Take this as a sign to cook something that you might not be familiar with. Because you will be pleasantly surprised. I just finished making my sandwich. I, so again, I recorded content, um, but I do plan to eat the sandwich again this week. So this is what I'm eating for lunch today, but it is so good. I'll insert the clip of how I made it in here. It is so delicious, so I have what all do I have in here? I have some, child, I took a bite out of crime, okay? This bite, there's a bite out of crime. But <laughs> I have some roasted red, red pepper hummus. So yeah, roasted red pepper hummus. I have some vegan feta, cucumber, onion, tomato, red bell pepper, avocado, salt pepper, a little bit of agave. Um, I don't know if I said vegan feta, but vegan feta as well. Y'all, this sandwich is so delicious. And it's just like packed with really, really nutritious. I'm trying to like deprogram my mind, reprogram my mind. I don't like to consider food like good or bad. So I'm just saying it's very nutritious because of all the vegetables that we have in here. But it's off the chain. This is off the chain off the chain, okay? And I'm gonna have it with my seaweed. This is a teriyaki flavor. Normally I just get like sea salt teriyaki. I think I've had sesame before, it was pretty good. But yeah, I absolutely love me some seaweed. If you know, you know. So, I'll see y'all at dinner. Yesterday I ate the sandwich for lunch and it was so good. But today we are having the tomato soup and I'm gonna make the grilled cheese as well as my mini croutons. If you can't tell, I'm like super excited. Here is our soup. I'm actually going to reheat the soup on the stove. Now if you do decide to make the tomato soup, you can reheat this in the microwave at work. Um, so yeah, microwave or stove. I'm just gonna put it in a pot on the stove, reheat it. I'll probably drizzle some maybe coconut milk on top just for a little creamery. And then I have a few more basil leaves um, that I'm just gonna like plop on top and serve it with my grilled cheese croutons. <laughs> it's gonna be so good, I'm so excited. I think I have a lot of energy because this morning I had, I made myself like a little protein shake to eat with my breakfast, which was the shakshuka. Um, but in my protein shake I had Course, vanilla protein powder oh and I'm trying to I feel like this is giving me a lot of energy um, but it's organic plant-based protein naturally flavored so it's vanilla but naturally flavored there's 20 grams of protein in one scoop and when I had it this morning it was pretty good so I like it vegan soy free gluten free non GMO no artificial sweeteners look at my baby Hi, big boy um, no artificial sweeteners or flavor so I had that and I put uh, two scoops of or like two tablespoons of my um, PB fit which is like that protein I mean the peanut butter powder as well as a tablespoon of the cacao powder and that stuff I feel like it gave me energy anyway okay enough about that because that's not why we're here right now we're about to get started on our soup I'm so excited I think I'm really excited for these grilled cheese croutons which you know it's honestly just gonna be grilled cheese a grilled cheese sandwich cut up in cubes, but we ain't gonna call it a grilled cheese croutons, okay? Cause we're gonna be a little fancy, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm 
by the way, this is the vegan cheese that I am using for my grilled cheese. ever seen vegan cheese melt like that come on now basil let's try it with the grilled cheese mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very very delicious so good oh I'm so happy I'm so happy it's a working lunch for me. So good, I can't wait to eat this again. And honestly, I might have it for dinner because it was delicious.